If you want to address climate change, the first thing you do is protect the ocean. And the solution to that is very simple. Leave it alone. That is a quick eight second clip from the 90 minute documentary called Sea Spiracy, one of the most watched films on Netflix over the past month. It dives into some of the big issues that plague our oceans, from plastic pollution to climate change. But the number one problem, according to Seaspiracy, is overfishing. And the documentary suggests the solution to that problem is that all of us should stop eating seafood. They really portray uh, that everyone needs to just stop eating fish, and that's certainly not going to be the answer. Leif Gildersleeve is the owner of Portland's Flying Fish Company on East Burnside. As you can imagine, a man who makes his living selling seafood is not on board with this idea that we should all stop eating it. He's also not on board with the documentary's ocean-sized claim that commercial fishing simply cannot be done sustainably. They also don't take into account the positive examples, the sustainability um, success stories. This is Bristol Bay uh, Wild Alaskan Sockeye Salmon. Bristol Bay Sockeye Salmon are one of the most sustainable fisheries in the whole world. And the reason why is because there's about um, 10 million fish that get spawned in a lake um, around Bristol Bay region, huge region. They all spawn there, they go out to sea, they eat for a couple uh, years, and then they work their way back up to spawn. They allow the five million to make it back up to go spawn again, and then they allow the harvest of the other five million. So they don't allow any harvest until five million have already made it up to produce the next year's little babies. The team behind another Portland favorite, Bamboo Sushi, agrees with Leaf that sustainability in the seafood industry can be done and is being done. Back in 2008, Bamboo Sushi became the world's first certified sustainable sushi restaurant. They say the key to their sustainability efforts is transparency. There's a lot of great things about fish and eating seafood and people shouldn't be afraid of it. And I know that, you know, you're, you're here gonna hear this all the time. You should never eat meat. You should never eat seafood. You should never do this or you never drive your car. But for how we source and how we um, get our ingredients, we're gonna do the best that we can and be as transparent as possible so that people can make those decisions for themselves.